Nerds Talking, the podcast. Yo, we talk about lightsabers, stunning your TV screens, what you want to stream, everything beyond your dreams. Want to talk about movies, sports, or even politics. Go ahead and tune in to us. We'll give you all of it. Whatever you debate, next box of PlayStation, Marvel the DC, Mac or PC. Terra flops when the movie drops, gigabytes, chips, RAM. No matter what it is, we got all of it. Welcome to the show. Nerds Talking. The podcast. Welcome to Nerds Talking the Podcast. I'm here with Laura Marie and I'm Lafayette. That's right. This is the women's episode as they have overruled the men. Carlos or is just not Lafayette's here. a woman. Could be for today. He wears I'm high heels to work and makeup mm-hmm. and he has to mm-hmm. get dressed and go to work. Oh, wow. Fancy. But yeah. uh yeah, Carlos isn't here. He has com- multiple computer issues, not just one, as we found out. Multiple. So uh, somebody in his neck of the woods is cracking down on computers. Or maybe they're cracking down on podcasts. They're like, enough podcasts. I'm shutting yeah. your computer down. <laughs> they're like, we're done. This is yeah. just, too many podcasts have been started in the last four years for COVID. We're just cracking down. Nobody, all of a sudden, nobody yeah. All of a, all of a sudden, the government's just keeping track. Another one? Shut it down. <laughs> what, do they, what do they have to say now that's valuable for the public? So true. So true. So. We'll start at our typical jumping point. Are you guys uh, interested in watching this movie this weekend? A Quiet Place, day one. No. How? I never how saw it started. the first. Never you never saw, saw the first, first two? No, don't care. Oh, first I'm two. Kind of, yeah, don't give a fuck. Okay. I'm kind of irritated about this movie because I was supposed to go on a date with a boy to see it. And then he, he asked me to go. And I was like, well, I want to see the second one before I see the prequel. So, you know, and then he's like, then he just stopped texting me back. And I was like, then he said at some point, uh, let's go next weekend. And he still hasn't hit me up. And I'm just like, I don't even well, want to go on a date with him. I just want I'm him not... to like be respectful and like. <laughs> I, but also, I mean. So I'm a little bitter about this movie. You're also in your 30s and he's a boy. So that could also be a problem. It's just yeah. a thing people say. How do you know he's a boy? I know. You said he's a boy. You said he's a boy. <laughs> <laughs> it makes it sound like he's, you know, 14. <laughs> Uh, he's 21. It's weird. Ah, uh, it's he's really still weird. young for you. Oh, he's he very is young. a boy. He's, he's yeah. a boy. Yeah. For you, he's a boy. <laughs> no. Yeah. I mean, oh no. Wait God. a second. Jesus. No. Is that is that okay? No. Is it worse why? the other way around? Which How way? Old which way? Which way is worse? But like, no, why is it bad? Okay. Why is it bad? Why is it bad? Hold why on. is it bad? What what Laura, life experience yep. do you have? Uh, what life experience do you have right now that a 21 year old can relate to? Well, we're uh, both in music. And he knows okay. how to use the mixer and stuff. Yeah, and he saw the first quiet. And we like the movies. We like movies. We saw Furiosa together. Oh, you guys saw it together when he was twenty. <laughs> no. <laughs> he said, "I'll be twenty-two this year." No, it's no. It's, I, I get it. I get it because I'm like, if this, if the roles were reversed, then it would be really weird. But like, I, I don't intentionally date young people all the time. Uh, but you I did say like, you kind of just wanted a movie partner. No, I didn't want to go to the movies. I wanted to hang out with him. But oh, so you had an interest out. in him. Oh, I got you. I like, we both like music, that. and we were, okay. you know, we are in class together. I met him in theory. Uh, like, it was, what do we have, have in you common? Met, have, you, have you ever met anyone that's like, I don't like music? <laughs> no, yes. Well, no, not necessarily, really? but they're oh, not okay. like, they're not like I know what you mean. into I know what you it mean. as much. It's and I, I think yeah, they're yeah, weird. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah, like, yeah. they're like, I don't care about music, blah blah blah. And they listen to country. It's always the people that listen to country that are like, I don't really care about music. And it's like obviously I disagree because I'm not really I mean, like, I, I like listening to music, but I am not into music. But I also don't like country music. But but I get what Marie's saying. She's saying people that listen to country, like like, like that's popular not music. countries, like today's yeah. country. You know, it's or they don't, they, yeah, they think everything else outside of what they listen to is garbage. That's not music. I don't listen to music. I listen to country. What? what? That's the same fucking thing. But I get what you're saying. Though. No, I, I agree. Do. You don't listen to music. You listen to pop country. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so a Quiet Place Day One is coming out. Marie was going to go, but a boy ditched her. Oh, so oh, sad. Oh, boo. Wah, wah. So, wah, wah. Also this weekend, Horizon, an American saga, chapter one, starring Kevin Costner. It's a, supposedly how the West 
was one or the West started what is or it called? Wild West. Horizon and American Saga Chapter One comes out this weekend. Like Manicarta. Carta. Horizon. An American no, I mean like the Manicarta Carta was how they Oh, the Magna Carta. <laughs> I was like, what? And Magna then Magna Carta two is not the comes, West. And no, leave it alone. No. Chapter wait, two. Wait, 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 no, out. what's the one where they, they take over like the whole Midwest? It's like a real thing in history. The Magna Carta, right? No, the Louisiana called? Purchase. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah that, 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 that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah from the front. I like Western. I don't have I don't, good words. I don't generally like Kevin Costner, but I do like Westerns. Yeah, I same here. Like I don't like American Kevin Costner, history. Yeah. Yeah. Is this in theaters? It's in theaters this week huh. called Chapter One. And then Chapter Two comes out August 1st. Oh, that's so you can fun. watch Chapter One and watch Chapter Part Two right away. And, just basically and there's actual weeks. actors in it. For some reason, I don't know why, but I just thought that this was like some like weird, uh, you know, off the Like thing. made for TV type of like thing. Like a or... modern yeah. Dances with Wolves? No, just like something, I don't know, like. And I hate to say this, but like something that's like offshoot, like conservative, like this is uh, about America. Yes, yes, yes. But there's actual kinda, actors yeah, in it: Sienna yeah, Miller, Sam Worthington, Jenna Malone. Jenna Malone. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean those are all pretty well known. I like, uh, I like Sam Worthington yeah, and Jenna Malone. All, you know what? And he gave his son a actors. really big role in the movie, and people are pissed off about it. Oh, uh, <laughs> Nepo baby. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Who's his yeah. son? I don't know. His last Kevin Costner, Costner too. Yeah. <laughs> Kevin Costner Jr. <laughs> um, so and and he funded almost 80% of the movie himself. Oh. So this movie better be passion successful. It it better be project. successful. I'm telling him. you, because he lost or he's he's asked out a lot of money in his divorce he had last year. So I saw Kevin Costner once uh, when he had a, like a musical career for a while, and uh, he came to some gala some uh fundraising thing in st louis that i had an invite to free and i went and it was so weird because when he came in like he had like a spotlight on him and like this like like he would like, walk down the aisle to the stage like he wanted everyone to like start slow clapping and standing and i was like right. does this guy think he's jesus <laughs> like it was very weird it, it I didn't mean, leave you know, a great impression with me. He made two good baseball movies and a golf movie. You know, there's that. And Dances with Wolves. Wait. And Wait, Dances with Wolves. Uh, Bull Durham. Field of Dreams. Tin Cup. Bull. Yeah, okay. yeah those Dances are all good movies. Wolves. And Dances with Wolves. And he yep. was Robin and Hood, right? The 90s. The Untouchables and Robin Hood and Waterworld. Carlos is here. Right. <laughs> no one remembers terrible. anything about Waterworld except for that he drinks his pee. True. No, the plot. I think Waterworld is the best the movie, or World. the worst movie in the world. I don't know why people shit on Waterworld. No, World. it's not it the worst. Any dumber than any other '90s movie in the world. Oh, I thought you said it was the worst movie in the world. No, okay. it's just the it. typical '90s dumb shit. In no yeah, somebody. Yeah, else. it's 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 Mad Max in reverse. That's all. Pretty much. Oh, so somebody just said, "I got a great idea. Let's make Mad Max, but in reverse. It's about the water, and there's almost too much it. water." anything about it oh well the world is basically now mostly covered in water and they're trying to find well land. i do remember that <laughs> there's a lot <laughs> of wave runners that. a lot of wave runners yep who is it Den not dennis quaid is it dennis no no quaid? Who's it's the bad uh, guy? dennis hopkins dennis hopper hopper, hopper? hopper? I, yeah, we're so close Look, who's the other Thank who's the other hop this. hops who's the other hop hopkins there's um bob hoskins bob bob from go. uh, good old Bob Roger from Rabbit. Uh, Roger Rabbit. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, I knew Carlos would contribute today. And since he's, he's old late. Old man, right? Yeah, you're fucking hella late. Really late. All Explain your yourself. computers are broken. Oh, oh, I tried my computer. <laughs> I tried my laptop, and I tried my Google he's Watch. Lying. I am a geriatric, smirk. and I don't he know how to use lying. technology. We know, we know how this works. Excuse after excuse. First of all, my computer is slow. It's slow like Special Olympics slow, because this shit was 45 <laughs> minutes slow. Like, his computer was actually drooling. I don't know what happened. Whatever. Yeah, he was stuck do. with two women sitting here talking. He is Three women. very well, angry. Man, women too. Actually, we they had a pretty good conversation about uh you missed it, but uh Marie was ditched by a boy on a date to go see Quiet Place this weekend. And I heard uh, she part was saying of it. 
part of it. Yeah, and how now she feels like, you know, basically she's taking out a 21-year-old, so she's going to be responsible for teaching him adult stuff. You know, that's... I kind of want to, though. Not oh, like, really? Not in a, like, not in a, like, in a sexual way, not in a, any other kind of way. Oh, well, so you just want... But you want to take of advantage of him. Yeah. No, I you don't. Wanna, no, I uh, don't. No, I ah, don't. Did you <laughs> no, bring a necktie? Wow. <laughs> Maybe. Unbelievable. I should wear... You should I wear a necktie. Wear no, you wear it. Avril you wear it. Yeah, the Avril Lavigne thing. Just... You wear the necktie. And when he goes, why are you wearing a necktie? Oh, you're going to find out. Let's and I'm not taking it off. Look, right away? You're even hesitating. <laughs> Good Lord, don't you want to watch the movie? No. <laughs> oh, okay. I really don't. I didn't want to see A Quiet Place, the beginning part. I didn't really want to see it. I do want to see the second one because I like Cillian Murphy a lot. And I also like the chick, uh, what is her name? Blunt, Emily Blunt. Emily I Blunt. like both of them, but I don't really want to see the, the third one. I just wanted to go to the movies with them. I'm kind of confused. Cillian Murphy. Mm-hmm. He was in the second he's... one. What's he in the second one? I haven't seen the second one. I Are you seen. sure he's in the second one? I don't yes. Know. I care. Okay, because so I love sure. him. All right. Oh, wait, I thought you but said anyway. you didn't see the second one. I'm very confused. I didn't. God damn it. <laughs> Good thing you just... love him. Support, you love. But he's in the movie. The I saw the commercial. I saw. You know what? Somebody okay, so look up a quiet to, place too. I'm I was looking supposed it to up see right it now. With... Cillian okay. Murphy is indeed in it. He is his in the name, movie. His name is Emmett, okay. Look, the character. Name. I was supposed to I'm, see I've the seen second it. one in the uh-huh. movies. I never yes. go to the movies, but then COVID happened, and I was but I was yeah, 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 yeah. Because it came out like five years ago when he was 16, the boy, and you were 33. Oh my God, the math, the math is terrible. Oh my God, he's born in 2004. Oh my god, it's so weird. And I can be like, my, in my generation, we did it like this. It's just kind of no, weird. this is good that he ghosted you. Just keep this away because I okay, okay. no, he ghosted me, but he reached out to me to at, to go to the movies, and I was like, okay, yeah. And then he ghosted me, and then later he's like, oh, let's do it next week. And then I'm like, whatever, but whatever. Aren't you guys... can't trust twenty twenty year olds. They're not reliable. Here's the I don't thing: care. if I don't you're care. dating somebody that is almost what. He could be my kid. He could be my kid. Yeah. I could if have had a kid his age. 12 plus years your junior. That's a problem because yeah, it's a problem. If you can't relate to people your own age. We you have, have to rely on younger people that you relate to. That's a red flag. Well, here's the why, thing. Why? I have mental uh, health issues. Uh, I have mental oh, health wait. issues. So like, wait, wait, I... time out. Time out. That's your excuse? Yes. Your yes. excuse is, all, I'll I date you. Why? Because I'm stupid. <laughs> no, I go to school with everyone who's like hella younger than me. And well, they're all around. I can't not like be around them all. Like I met a couple friends, like just friends, like a, a gay, like a couple of gay dudes. And then like a girl, right? We're friends. And they're all like 21, 22. But we all relate because we all do music. Okay, what I get from this, though, is you really just want to get down and dirty with this guy. Okay, That's Not really. Like, I don't know. Oh, God I just damn it. said that. <laughs> you just said I, that. I, I do, I do, but I don't. That. I do, but I don't. Right? Like, I don't know. Wait, I'm confused. okay. But I'll I do, explain but I something. Don't. I'll explain how all men work, especially boys, as you call them. That's all you got to say to them. They'll go on he a date. They won't, go, they won't ghost you. <laughs> you just dumb straight up. <laughs> Yeah, you don't have to go to a movie. Just come over after 11 p.m. He doesn't want to. He didn't want to. Oh, so he's scared. Okay, I got it. Because you are, to him, you're an older woman. He's a good boy. Oh, so if you wore a tie, he would correct you. Take that off. What are you doing? You don't have have any buttons on. (laughs) I got you. I got you. The buttons. Then you you tell him. You tell him, there's a reason I don't have any buttons on. My pants off. And then there you go. I'm trying to hide my buttons that I'm not wearing. Yeah, there you go. I don't understand yeah. that. Okay, Carlos, we you missed it because we were talking about ties hiding buttons. Why do they why is this necessary? Why do ties need to hide buttons? He's oh. confused. Look on his face is confused. Confusion. <laughs> why right. do men wear ties just to hide buttons on their shirt? That's literally what it Who is. It's an accessory. So... It's an accessory. <sighs> that, a tie's an accessory. That used to be a thing. No, it is. I don't a thing. understand the tie. I don't know why men wear ties. I mean, sometimes in <laughs> Makes you look better, but so I so you're just saying it's something that's made to hide buttons. Is that what you're saying? That's what it's for. What I was okay. saying. Yes, yeah, that's what Laura was saying. Well, that's true because that wasn't the original tie, like either a bolo tie or or a or a, a bow, bow tie. tie. Exactly. And now you have the necktie. 
Mm-hmm. I don't know. Mm-hmm. I don't wear neck. Well, I do wear neckties. Hmm. I think oh, they look good. Marie, did you I hear think that? they look good. Right. Yeah. Because Marie, Marie, <laughs> Marie, Marie doesn't think ties are to hide buttons. Marie thinks they're for. Go ahead, Marie, sex. tell them. They think, she thinks ties are made for sex. That's what she thinks. Or for kidnapping. You can use it to gag people. That's true. <laughs> well, same thing. That's, that's why, that's why Marie can gag. You can Laura's kidnap the 21 year old. <laughs> No, I'm gonna wear the tie, not him. Oh, I get it. So he's gonna he's gonna turn okay, you to the quiet place. <laughs> I don't anyway. know. It's not gonna be quiet, hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, depends how you use the tie. All right. Well <laughs> so so are we seeing the movie? <laughs> anyway, quiet place part one comes out this weekend. So if you're interested, it is basically how everything started in that whole universe of monsters and aliens attacking the earth. So there you go. There is that. I'll probably see it. Uh, probably see it. We'll see. And that's what the kid who's playing Johnny Storm, right? From um, uh, Stranger Things. Couldn't tell you. I don't know. Don't recall. Who's you haven't seen the preview? One. I've probably seen it, but I didn't pay attention. All I, all I saw was the, the black female lead. That's, that's all I really paid attention to in, that, in those commercials. What is it called? The, a Quiet Place Beginning? Uh, no, Quiet Place Day One. Oh, Day One. Day One. Day one. Quiet place uh, necktie. Really? Yep. Necktie. If you're a fan of Batman, <laughs> Batman the Cape Crusader comes out on Amazon May 1st, season one. May it 1st is next year? Animated? Did I say May? Did I say May? Yeah. August 1st. Animated? Or... It's yes. animated and it's in the same uh, same vein as Batman the animated series. So people love that, that right? Out. People love the Batman series from like the 90s. Oh, yep. yes. Oh, yes. Yeah. And the upside is you get all 10 episodes in one day. So you That's don't have to wait week nice. to week. Also, do you, anybody here watch The Bear on Hulu? No, but I've heard great things about it. It is. It's a very good show. Uh, today, all 10 episodes of season three came out. So you can watch that. Oh, it's too. three seasons. Okay. Well, it just came out. FX has some really good shows that I don't watch, but they do have some good shows. <laughs> Name one more. Uh, what we do in the shadows. Oh, good one. Good. One. I haven't or seen like, that, but I've heard snow, good things of that one too. Snow? Why are you snow swinging falls. a microphone it's snowfall. around? Snowfall. Marie. Because I want to be like Warren Buffett. Doesn't Warren make. Buffett go ahead. You know what? I gotta hear more of this explanation. <laughs> Is it actually connected to anything, or are you just? No, I cut off the cord today. It's, thought, it yeah. came with a little mini keyboard from Timu, but I just wanted the keyboard. So that I could do theory in the library, and but I came with this microphone. So now I just hello everyone, welcome to the show. How are you guys? Give yourself a round of applause. Hey! And I, oh my God, that is that <laughs> is that what you're gonna do if you ever have a show? Oh, well, I do it at school, and people are like, "Yeah, that's fun," because it's we're all like musical people. Because they're all like 21. Yeah, they're all 21. They're all <laughs> well, not all. Some are probably Sorry, 18 or 19. That was mean, but I just Boom. couldn't. I it don't think it's bad. Obvious. I, I don't think it's Hold bad. On. Let me re-explain. I just don't like. So what? I'm 38. Like we're all people. Who cares? That's true. Like, okay, and let's do the math. But Hold you're on. saying if you flipped it, it wouldn't be okay. If it were I mean, a 38 no, year old I, man, or I know. Year old. I know how it looked. If if it was a man and a woman, like I know what it looks like, and I know how I feel. I'm like a little confused about it. I'm compartmentalizing, right? But like I don't like. Again, we did have stuff in common. We talked about music a lot. We were in theory together, and like. We just hung out and like, I, I'm not like a predator. I don't do this all the time. This is the first time <laughs> I've ever dated someone. It's a predator younger. thing. It's First of all, no, it's not a predator thing. thing. It's, a, it's, it's a age of consent is well reached. He's 21. There's no grooming. Exactly. It's not a predator thing. Here's the thing. It's, 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 it's a... seen different from men and women perspective. Like, no, it's not. It's gross. No, no, no. Sorry. no, no I'm saying, I'm saying it's on a men's perspective. If, if you were 50 and your girlfriend was, 21 it's other guys disgusting. would other, no no but other guys would be like oh yeah buddy oh man look at you good yeah. job yeah see, you know, i do i do, you do know see why that. i do see that they're like that because they're like women are sex objects congratulations you have achieved the ultimate sex object which is a young God 21 damn. year old a virgin congratulations a pussy, which is dumb yeah exactly but... like and and <laughs> it's it's uh I just can't even with this. I, just, I don't like. Laura. I do Laura. feel Laura. weird. I do feel weird. But Laura's but not wrong about it. You've you've met my wife, yes? Yes. 
and He's lovely. you, huh? He's See? lovely. Did you know? Oh my gosh, she has a look on her face. <laughs> I'm Did preparing. Did you know she turns 33 this year? Oh, the math, the math. Keep mathing it. You're like Wait, how old is Carlos? 40... He's 50. He's 50. Are you really 50? He's going to be. I will be. be. I will yeah. be. So Same that, age what, as Marie that's and the boy. That's 17 years. That's 17 Amy. years. When, okay, when did you meet? When she was um, like a few months four, ago. Teen. No, I'm talking to Carlos. Oh. When she was. Shit. 22. And you were. He was 39. 35. 38. 38. That's enough. See? 38. See? Hi, Brittany. All right, hold on. Laura's there? face right now. Laura has that look on her face like. Like she didn't call Laura, the authorities. Laura shoot her nails down with nubs. No, <laughs> it's not a call your authority. I... It's not that bad. It's like, it's not that bad. I We don't do it all the time. Carlos didn't date younger people all the time, right? It was just like, it just happened to be like that. Can't it happen to be like that sometimes where it just, we're not predators. We're not yes. creeping on people. We're, we're like, we legit I hanging out and not getting creepy. to know each other. I just, I'm going to say it's not creepy as in like you're a predator or creepy. I think that it has something to say about oh kitty um levels of em emotional maturity. Yes, you're right. You're right. I am stunted. People. I am stunted. <laughs> I'm emotionally However, stunted. However, <laughs> you're right. There are one-off situations where people fall in love. People are people and you know maybe she's very mature for her age and maybe you're very immature. Wait a second. Age, people are people? <laughs> That's a good one. You know, I say that all the time. Well, the funny thing is, people. I wasn't even pursuing her. She, someone, another coworker was trying to get us to go out on a date. And the other coworker is my age. And it was another female. And they were mm. close friends at the time. Mm. They still are. They're not but, close friends. Oh. No, they still are. They're still. I mean, I shouldn't talk because people think that I'm creepy because I met my boyfriend when I was 17 and he was 21. And people are like, ooh. I had a woman you at are a work sick. conference <laughs> tell me the other day, she's like, ooh, that's sketch. I'm like, when excuse they're... me? I've been with my husband for 23 fucking years. I'm a 40-year-old woman. You're going to sit here and tell me that my relationship is sketch? Oh, I didn't that's like hella her sus. To speak. I didn't when you're, when you're hella start young. off with, and you... then I was like, oh, bitch, you've done pissed me off. But when you do but the math, Oh, four bitch. years. Like, no, but when you do my math, that? it's creepy because she was born when I graduated high school. Yeah. Me too. That's how fucking JC is. I'm like, ah. Yeah. Oh, wait, his name is JC. Like, now we know. Okay, good. Good. <laughs> the theory teacher's always like, that's the best member of NSYNC. I don't know why she always said that. She just always threw that out. It was funny. Theory was a good class. Oh, wait, wait. That's your that's your teacher in the in the music thing? In music theory. That theory says music. JC was the best member of NSYNC? Yeah. Oh, she shouldn't she have a job. Yeah. yeah, she shouldn't have a job. She should be. I mean, she's teaching music. She should be fired. Then who's can the we, best member of NSYNC? Can we get to these beans? Justin because Jim I've been like. staring at them for like an hour. We're gonna Not take the a fire break. Ones. Not the fire we're ones, a, Laura. Just the regular we're ones. We're gonna we're gonna take a break, and after this, we're taking Carlos sent us jelly beans from the Jelly Belly Factory, bean boozled, and we're gonna taste them and tell you how they taste. Yeah, okay, and we'll also talk about Furiosa the movie. Right after this on Nerds Talking, the podcast. In a world where there's often 60 plus years of history to worry about, how can you quickly get into a new comic character or franchise? If you're like me, then you turn to video games. But how well does that work out? In some cases, pretty well. In others, it's a giant disaster. But how can you know which games will set you on the right path and which games will just leave you more confused than you were before? Play Comics is the show for you. I'm Chris, and each episode we take a look at video games based on comic properties and how well they stick to that source of material. So listen in and get the scoop on which games are worth your time over at playcomics.com or wherever you find your favorite podcasts. Welcome back to Nerds Talking the Podcast. I'm here with Carlos, Laura, Marie, and I'm Lafayette. Remember to rate, subscribe, review, tell your friends. New episodes every Friday of Nerds Talking the Podcast and on YouTube, Nerds Talking Podcasts. We watched a movie. It's the sequel, or the prequel, I should say, to Mad Max Fury Road. This one is called Furiosa, a Mad Max Tale or saga? I forgot which word they use there. I think they use saga. It's basically how Furiosa came to be who she is that you saw in the movie with her and I always forget the guy's name. Tom who Hardy. Mad Max. Tom, Tom Hardy. Hardy. There you go. Mm -hmm. 
No, Tom no. Hardy's not in the second movie. He's no, he's, he's in the Fury second Road. movie because this one is the prequel. I would just explain no, that. He's not in the he's second not movie. Not in the pe- prequel. He's in Furiosa. The he's in exactly. Fury Road. He's in Fury Road, which is part two. With Charlize Theron. To this movie, correct. That's why I say the second one. That's why I'm saying this. Is... Anyway, we'll start with um, start with Carlos Furiosa, the Mad Max saga. What would you take on this movie? By George Miller and the world of Mad Max. I think it's the fifth Mad Max movie, if I'm not mistaken, or is it the fourth? Bernie! Is there three of them with Mel Gibson? Yes. Uh, well, there's Road Warrior. Road, Road Warrior. Road Warrior. Ro- the Thunderdome. The Thunderdome. Right. Thunder That's more British. <laughs> I, think, I think that might be. I don't, I don't think there's three. There's three. There's Mad Max, there's uh, Road Warrior, and then there's oh, that's right. Warrior The first one is, is just Mad Road Max, Warrior. right? Is it? Yeah. No. No, yes. I don't think so. No. We just watched, me and my mom just watched it the other day. Yeah, there's three. I'm looking Is on the internet. There's three? All right. So there's five Mad total Max, movies. Mad Max 2 and Mad oh. Max Beyond the Thunderdome. So there's five total movies in the world of Mad Max. All right, Carlos, what's your take on Mad Max Furiosa? Oh, uh, man, I didn't like this film. Um, I didn't like the sped up uh, film, like when they, they were doing the weird like the chase and all of a sudden this film would speed up or when she caught fire and she got on her back, she kind of rolled real quick. I'm like, I didn't like that speed up film look. Um, man, and just really had, it, it was boring. It was mm-hmm. super boring. It mm-hmm. was, uh, and then like the mom died in vain because she said, go. And of course, the daughter didn't go. She came back. I'd have been like, fuck it. I'm staying on this motorcycle and we're just going. We're going until we can go no longer. Yeah. Because the sandstorm was coming. There's no way the dogs were going to pick up that scent with the sandstorm and covering their tracks and covering their scent. There's just no way. It was just dumb. Um, And then is it just me or did anyone else get the feeling that Australia was cut off from the rest of the world? So I'm guessing the rest of the world was just fine. But Australia was just a shithole. The, all the seaports I mean, are cut off. Sense. The airports are cut off. That's what it looked like to me because it just zeroed in on Australia and what was going on in Australia. Um, Chris uh, Hemsworth, his character was all right. He was kind of goofy, kind of funny, I guess. But, man, I just didn't like this film. I just, there was no purpose for it. I didn't care to know Furiosa's beginning. Who cares? Don't care. They could have used Chris Hemsworth as mad max 4 let's do another mad max film let's not do another i don't care about furiosa in any way but now you have to watch him kind of in reverse so you got to watch furiosa because if you watch through the credits you can seamlessly seamlessly start part two fury road and then from there but then man it still doesn't explain how all this shit happened how it became a wasteland and she had this stupid nut in her hair this whole time, and she'd stick a nut in her mouth every couple years. She likes to mm. suck on nuts. And then mm. she must have stuck it up, uh, what's his name's asshole, because there was a tree growing from his crotch at the end of the movie, and she, she must have stuck it up his ass. Oh, that makes uh, sense. I didn't even think about that. Yeah. Um, I guess a damp, dark place. I have no idea. But um, Maybe it was a fungus. It was a fungus mm. seed. Damp, dark place. That's what they I like. I know, but it grew a peach. She pulled a peach from it, so... I don't know. Chris Hemsworth can apparently grow peaches out of his ass. I didn't even uh, get that far. Whoa, what is your score? Yeah. Man, this is no more than a two. This is boring. A two out of five. Absolutely boring. Two out of five. It's right, got Marie. 90% on Rotten Tomatoes. I'm Marie, so I don't what get it. Is, it make no what sense. is your review of the movie? It was boring as fuck. Oh, and and what, it, yeah, yeah, it's like a two. It's a two. Okay, two it's out unnecessary. Of five. It was long. It was long. I went to the theaters and like there's a bunch of people f- who do what's that thing in the desert? Um, Burning Man. Yeah, so it's like a bunch of Burning Man people. So people came up and they were dressed up and they were all decked out in uh, like warrior kind of clothes and it was really like fun. And I expected, yeah. I expected to, and then they gave out these little patches that said, um, pray for me in Valhalla or some shit like that. And I was like, oh, yeah. Oh, yes. well, that's so from I, the movie, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. And then, but they didn't even say it in the second movie. And then, so I expected to go into the movie theater and like people are yelling, be like, yeah, 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 yeah. And these people were white because they did not yell at the movie theater. And I kept yelling at the movie theater. And it was fun. At the movie theater, okay. 
or at the movie. It's like, so yeah, you're ah, outside Valhalla, the parking lot, Valhalla, but <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So like it was fun to be there, but the movie sucked. Yeah, they only mentioned Valhalla like one time. Yeah, in, one in time. Yeah, yeah, and I was like, and, wait, what did they s- witness me? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Somebody, no one, no one yelled it. No one yelled it except for me. He, somebody yeah. asked like something about Valhalla, and they're like, "What's Valhalla?" <laughs> exactly. That's it. Yeah, That's the only mention of it was that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we got a two, five, and another two out of five. Laura. You Wait, didn't finish the movie. No, two out of five and another two out of five. Oh, okay. Laura, what was your take on Furiosa? Half the movie, at least. I don't even think I got <laughs> to the halfway mark. What'd you get to? What part was I it? I called it around like 50 minutes when she was hiding underneath the tree and then became a boy. And, oh, wow. Yeah. And okay, then I was like, yeah. nope. Because it, gotcha. those first 50 minutes were so painful. And I was literally, I was sitting there <laughs> with my husband and I was like, how much longer? And I clicked the thing and I was like, Jesus Christ, there's another hour and a half. <laughs> I was like, I'm calling it. Fuck this movie. It was boring. <laughs> and it, everything was filmed on a green screen. It felt like. Yeah. Like, Couldn't you have done any of this on location or made it look practical? And it just was not visually interesting. I it come in, it, it did. It did. It looked like a sci-fi original. And <laughs> I do come in with a large amount of prejudice. I generally don't like Mad Max. I've tried to watch the originals. I don't get it. I, it does not jive with me. It doesn't. They don't have plots, really. No, they really don't. And everyone is so weird for no reason. They're Australian. And I just like <laughs> like an immortal Joe's so uh, whole thing. Like he's got the guy in a business suit with his nips cut out and a gas mask on his crotch. Why? Why? And that weird nose thing? That Why? Weird... Yeah, the Notice weird that. fake nose. Why? Yeah, he's a fake nose. There's yeah, no have reason. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It You're just talking about is. the one with Tom Hardy? <laughs> No, 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 no. That character's always in this, this well. movie. Oh. But no. yeah, I, do he's, like I think he's Hardy. also he's also in the one with Tom Hardy. If I'm, yeah, I feel is. like I remember that guy. Well, all all those all those Immortal Joe and all them, they're in the original movies too. They're oh, like I villains see, from the that. originals. I yeah. didn't know that. It's just like everyone's behavior is completely nonsensical, and I don't know if this is true. <laughs> My husband said this. He's like, this is supposed to be like 40 years after the fall of humanity. I'm like, are you fucking serious? How does he know that? Let's let's ask Google. Let's I don't know. I he might have been pulling it out of his ass. He does this. He pulls things out of his ass and then like de- <laughs> declares like trees like, that grow peaches. <laughs> and I'm like, this Mad is Max like not even vaguely realistic. I don't think so because it's Mad insane. Max. Okay. Um, Mel Gibson in the first Mad Max. There's still like a regular society. It's starting to fall, but it's still a regular society with police and like uh, people and houses and whatever. So it can't. I don't know about like the new movies, but it. That's can't what be I mean. Like Gibson. the ones that we're watching now. Well, like, the ones we're watching it. now. It says forty-five well, years. Furiosa. <laughs> Furiosa takes place way before Mad Max. But wasn't Mad Max a cop? He was a cop, yeah. wasn't he? That's yeah, what I mean. cop, Why yeah. are these people acting like this? And it's forty years at later. Like these are people who are probably in their forties. So they spent. I mean, they saw their parents interact. It just society doesn't crumble this way. Like society will crumble, but it won't crumble like this specifically. I think it's because they It'll don't be have more like any. Tank girl. They don't have any more internet. That's why. <laughs> They all maybe if like our children's children, then this happened. I don't know, maybe because they're like borderline retarded anywhere. Anyway, oh my God. Ooh, <laughs> our words. Sorry. It's okay. Um, it's okay. It's it's just stupid. The whole premise is dumb and the way people act are dumb. The movie is boring. I don't care. So you didn't uh, watch the whole thing. What's your score? <laughs> One and a one, one and a half. I don't one know why I feel need Point to give five. it a half. Yeah, one and a half. One and know. a half. Well, right. okay. Another thing I didn't understand is when Furiosa was first kidnapped, and she had that whistle that she was blowing. Why was it just the mom that took off? It almost seemed like she had the whistle so that the whole town can come and rescue her. No, it was her. the mom and one other girl. I don't know why more people didn't come. It's a yeah, it was just yeah, it was just her. Uh, like, and also, why did she just shut the fuck up? 
bitch. Why didn't she get her peach and take her sister and lay low until they exactly? Left? Why was she, exactly? Why was she trying and then to go tell the them bikes? what the hell was going on? Yeah, because and that moment no, when um, she does run back. It. Yeah, true. The the, uh, the, 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 the the movie the first half was so bad. It really is so bad. Yeah. Well, and then that's part and I didn't get past. You, you didn't you didn't get to the montage bit about how everything mm-hmm. falls apart even worse. And then the action picks up like tremendously in the second half. Well, yeah. When you told me that, I'm like, the action did not pick up tremendously. It does pick up. We oh, had tremendously fake, to the first a half. Fake Mad Max show yeah, up. Yeah, we had fake Mad Max. Yeah, um, fake Mad Max was there. Yeah. And then it was the only that was thing her that boyfriend or something, right? Right. Yeah. No, it was our mentor. He was just he just got he was the mentor. Introduced yeah. when I. <laughs> I don't recall. She was definitely kissing. into him. I, I no, didn't they were get definitely to the into each other. Were, for sure. yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Because they were gonna run away together to go back to her place from the map That's on right. her arm. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Then and, her arm uh, got grinded off. Yeah. yeah. I didn't understand that, like the tattoo and the stars or whatever. Like, I get it why she was doing it, but it just it's it's so it does it was unnecessary because her arm ends up getting cut off. That's anyway, the point. Right? That's why they. It's, that's why they cut it off it's because so of she's like drawing a map. And exactly. Well, here's I mean, the other like, thing. We watch. I watched it going out. I'm like, oh, this is why she got her arm cut off because she's tattooed. Mm-hmm. But is it though? Did, no, it's because she stuck her hand she out the window. Yeah. You know your parents say don't stick your arms out that. the window when you're driving. Oh, that's true. And a car will take Somebody it off. Yeah, exactly. Using the, the hand plane. Uh-huh, yeah, that is a yeah. valuable scientific experiment, though. Like when you tilt your hand up and you're going 60 miles per hour, you do oh, feel don't your do arm that. go. Whoosh. Oh, yeah, it does. <laughs> don't but, do that. But she learned the hard way. <laughs> she lost an arm for it. When she had that fake wig and then it blew off and she was hiding from that guy. And then it showed oh, like... The, sc- Scrotus and rectus, by the way. That's when I was yes, like, I'm done. Scrotus and rectus. I'm done. Uh-huh. Oh. I'm done. <laughs> I don't he remember his kids after scrotum and rectum. I can't watch any more of this drivel. Go ahead. Sorry. So anyway, the wig is caught in the tree or the side of the hill. And then you see a, a branch grow out of it. So it's supposed to show you time passing, right? That's then that's not just a year or two. That's a lot. I mean, because that branch had to grow quite a bit. Why within that time, she's apparently had disappeared. Why didn't she go back to her little village at that time? I think she couldn't get away. But she got she away. Was masquerading as one of the. Uh, she masqueraded one of the as a boy. Yeah, but like, you at have to time. like leave the yeah. city walls, right? <clears throat> I like the part where she did lop her arm off or grind. What well, I don't know how she took her arm off, but I don't even remember even, that. Even then, when she's riding the motorcycle, and all of a sudden, Chris Hemsworth's character realizes she's gone. Um, they catch up to her hella quick. I'm like, how do you even know what direction she went in? And not only that, when they left Bullet Town in the little V8 with the two motorcycles in the back, and they caught up to him with that big ass truck, there's no way, man. That V8 is going much faster than that big ass six wheeler. I don't give a shit, and it's gonna run out of gas much faster than that V8. So they and how do they know what direction they went in? It was just I want to drive the silly. V8. It just um. It made a lot of money in theaters. A lot of money. Did it really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's it's uh, it's because people that watched the first one were like, okay, this has got to be good. The first you know, one was good, right? Does anyone agree with me? Did anyone like that first one with Tom Hardy? Yeah, it was fine. That one was good. It was yeah, fine. It, it was good. It kind of had the same problem. The first half was like, oh, okay, it's okay. But then it really ramps up when they start getting chased down in the desert. Then it really cranks I think up. There like, was action, action the whole time. There was a lot of action the whole time, and it wasn't like there's a lot of action. action. It was good yeah. action. And that's the thing about the second it's movie. Practical. Like it, they used practical they used facts. all the good action in the first movie, and they didn't have anything like new or updated action that was like impressive. Well, they tried the sec- to create the second movie, and it they tried to create a good. biker gang. That's what they did on this one. This is the biker gang. That's, and fucking Chris they... Helmsworth and his chariot with the the motorcycles. Yeah, the I was chariot. Like, this is so fucking dumb. I can't. Oh my god, the doggies though. They had a lot of doggies, and they were cute. <laughs> Anyway, I give the movie a two out of five. It wasn't that great. I just disappointing considering how good the last Mad Max movie was. And uh, I concur. But Laura brings up the green screen. Did you know the other one? Primarily all green screen, also. Seriously? You know. Fury, oh, I yeah, Fury tell. Road. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. They did Primarily a much all green better screen. job. Maybe I'm remembering it wrong. He know. literally she, filmed. He, he, he filmed that movie and this one also just in a flat desert. Everything around it green screen. Everything, everything you see, green screen. It's it's crazy, like well, all but CGI. But if it's in a desert, where where yeah. was it? I don't know. Maybe it's maybe that's what it is. Maybe all the deserts in 
the Fury, uh, Fury Road, it was filmed on a flat desert and they put in like sky or something. And this one, they tried to, they put a lot of stuff in the backdrop. You oh, know yeah. Like I mean? hills and yeah. Like hills well, no, and, and same, mountains same as the last one. Same as the last one. Yeah. I don't remember a lot of bluffs and stuff. I don't know. Maybe. No, I when you watch the last one, they're, they're, they're also driving in between the canyons and all that. And, and all, and it's all, all that's not there. Legitimately not real. It's not there. Mm. Anyway, it looks great. Um, Anyway, so Furiosa, you can watch it now on demand. I'm pretty sure it'll be on, I'm guessing it'll be on HBO. I think it's a Warner Brothers movie. It is a Warner so, Brothers movie. Yeah, so it'll be on HBO shortly. Uh, I'm pretty sure like probably two or three weeks. So, Can we get to our Jelly Bellies now? Jelly Bellies! Carlos, again, send us Jelly Bellies from the Jelly Belly Factory. Well, you're supposed to get them, but they... Game, they're coming too late, and so you. But we're we being boozled. Do we need to take a break? Take a break for what reason? Yeah. What? What do you need a break for? Okay. okay, never mind. Sorry. Carlos is going to start what us off. What edition? What edition do you have? I have. I made sure you guys got different editions, so we're not all eating the same one. Six. So you have, How do I know? Oh, you have six. Sixth okay, edition. so I have six as well. It says it oh, on I the on the six. front. Yeah, six edition. You have six as well. Yeah, loser. <laughs> Let me see. No, it. Good, because we all have them all together, we can all taste the same things. I'll just think mm. about what it tastes like. Yeah. You probably yeah. don't want to. You can tell us what you think it is. Also, we'll I'll just put know. random things in my mouth like this. this shit. I'm gonna just put random stuff in your mouth, my... you know? That's right. Oh, JC, will, JC will approve of that. <laughs> <laughs> he really wouldn't, though. He's. I wouldn't. He saw like this him? guy. He's you're, making, you're, making, you're making this guy very sound like he's very like a yuppie, like he's very uh, conservative, you know. He's okay. Conservative. He's I don't want to talk about her underage boyfriend anymore. Whoa. I he's want to talk he's about. You know what, Laura? Real quick though, Jelly Laura. Real Billy. quick, real, real quick though. Instead of we know what a pedo is, but when a person is actually of age, what do you call them? Uh. Yeah, that's right. What are we calling them? Now we got to come with the word for that. Young people. We'll come up with the one. Young, just young people being okay. okay immediately what, pouring. What flavor them am out. I starting with? Yeah, what flavor? These am I starting things with smell here? like feet. Oh, feet stank. I think they I mean, smell I'm like. A feet no, mine stank. smell like caramel. Mine, mine smell like, like today, um, and I smell like feet. Okay, there you go. <laughs> You're experiencing <laughs> what we're experiencing. Mine kind of okay. smells like uh, stale popcorn. So. Okay. okay. I, can I talk about jelly beans, jelly bellies? And yeah, 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 jelly yeah, yeah. First? Okay. Jelly bellies. I fucking love jelly bellies. I am obsessed with them. I know all of my favorite flavors. I can identify them by sight in a uh, mix. I know exactly which ones I like and I pick them out uh, purposefully. And I did this bean boozled thing um, many, many years ago. And I was living with my parents at the time and I left them out and like ask my mom to like, hey, try some. And she literally ate the vomit one, which I ate myself. I knew exactly which one she ate. I was like, try it. She's like, what? Like, try it. She's like, why? I'm like, just try it. And she puts it in her mouth and starts chewing. And she's like, what? What's <laughs> it? Did she like it? What? She didn't taste it. Like, she, I'm like, what is wrong with your mouth? Because I have eaten the vomit one. And it is. Fucking disgusting. And she was just like, whatever. <laughs> just like, and I'm like, do you even taste? Here's a little These are tidbit, pungent. Little tidbit on the vomit one. So Jelly Belly was trying to make a pepperoni pizza jelly bean. <gasps> and oh. it tastes like crap. Nobody could eat it. So they used that as the vomit base and added <laughs> citric acid to it. To make and that's it what got you the vomit. Yep. That, well, that's not that's in this package, fact. though. No, 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 yeah, no, no. Pepperoni pizza sounds good. No, but go ahead. So, oh. so just, I'm gonna say, kind of close. I'm like, pick one at random. Don't uh, look at it when you pick it. Okay. Remember, um, when it ran, I did a feature too. Okay. They put the pizza in the little tiny, looks like a jelly belly, and they just put it in the microwave, and a whole pizza comes out. That's what Marie wants. She wants. Some, yeah, that's that sounds that's great. The one you're going oh, with, like, Marie? You know, the fifth uh, element. Lori, you know, going on? Yeah, the fifth element. element. This yeah. is yeah. supposed to be a toasted marshmallow. Okay, guys, if you want to know the secret to how, if you don't want to get bean boozled, do you want to know the secret? You don't have to bite it. The carnauba wax on the outside will coat it, so you can't really smell it. But if you crush like a fine it. Wine. You crush it, 
You can smell. You snort it. That's cheating. Oh, that's, cheating. Snort it. that's cheating. So it's supposed to be toasted marshmallow or stink bug for the one Laura picked. Oh, gross. What is, okay. So what is it this pretty one? Stinky, what is that one? That is supposed to be peach. Judy fruity. Wait, wait. No, let me see it again. Peach. Has red and orange. Just eat it. Peach. Put it Ooh, in your mouth. It's either going to be one. strawberry smoothie or dead fish. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> It's not. It's well. The fifth bit into it already. What do you got? Or it could be peach or barf. I think it's. No. I think it looks it's, like a peach. It's barf. It's Ugh. gross. Yeah, gross. All right, I'm trying my uh, toasted uh, marshmallow. Or stink bug. Really bad. I think it's gonna be stink bug. It smells pretty nasty, actually. Oh, that's bad. Oh, okay. cool, marshmallow. What did I get? Oh, I got the same as Laura. I got the same. <laughs> so I'm gonna choose a different one. Oh, that was one. mean. Okay. So mine is supposed to be I don't even know. What the hell is this? I saw a video and the, the women were like spinning the thing. So the spinner chose the jelly belly for them. So I'm guessing oh, this is supposed to be Oh, it. this is supposed to be, I think, tutti fruity or stinky sock. Oh, oh God, man. Let's see what we got. What do you got? <laughs> is it gross? What the fuck am I eating? I don't know what I mean. It... <laughs> oh my it's god, gross. it's so fucking it's gross. It's nasty, man. That's gross. Everyone's I got a, got a I, gross one. I got a, a blue one. It's just blue. That should be very blue. One or of my toothpaste. Or toothpaste. Or toothpaste. Oh, okay. I'll go with the toothpaste one because that sounds very refreshing. Oh, berry blue. That's good. Oh. Ah, uh, that one. Toothpaste, but it's better than stink bug. <laughs> no, At least the toothpaste is, is going to oh. wash the stink bug out of your mouth. Oh, yeah, that's a good right. one. It's I a got one. a green one. So it's supposed mm -hmm. to be either pear. Oh, juicy pear or booger. Uh, <laughs> booger. So this is going to bring back some nostalgia if it's booger. <laughs> 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 okay. All right, here we go. Oh, that's booger. That's booger. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, I Wait. got... What does booger Wait, taste like? hold on. No. Oh, you ever ate, you never ate booger pear. before? Juicy pear. Yeah, it's no, hard, right? Never. Like, it takes a minute. <laughs> All right, this one is either... What is it? Chocolate uh, That looks scary. No, cappuccino liver or liver oh. and onions. Oh, cappuccino. Liver and onions, not that bad. No, I truly... Compared to stink bug. What do you think? Just Come on. Just eat it. it. Just eat it. It's going to be you a liver and onion. You can't really smell them. <laughs> you have to crack you know them. You have to crack I know. What's that soup? It's like broth and onions. Uh, French onion soup. Oh, French onion soup. Oh, I got cappuccino. She, cappuccino. Okay. Cappuccino. This one has like a the bunch liver. of colors oh, on it. That's, that's the stinky socks or tutti tutti stinky fruity. socks. Yeah. Oh, wait. Did you already try this one? I thought you yeah. did. I don't know which okay. one I had, but it didn't taste good. It tastes like shit. Ooh, just a red one is old bandage. Ew. Or... I'm gonna try that one because I feel like a band aid can't taste that bad. Oh god, oh. that's disgusting. I'm gonna Compared go with that to one a too. stink bug. All right. I'm gonna go with that one. The one too. I have. The one I have. Pomegranate. That came off someone's skin. It didn't. They didn't really no, taste like anything. The one I have. Speckles on it. It's pomegranate. This is an unspeckled red. I don't know. Good luck. Imagine it's like hairy and old and it's got a bunch of stuff <laughs> on it. <laughs> this is like, it looks like a tooth. That's popcorn. That's or rotten egg. Or bitch. rotten egg. Oh, that so it's either rotten egg. That was nastier than I thought yeah. it was. Yeah. I got pomegranate. Oh. I got pomegranate. Pomegranate. I don't think oh, Laura's got oh, oh, <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Well, that was so really bad. I'm not doing this. Wow, that one is bad. Which it took like you a get? second. Yeah, rotten That's egg. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I I don't even like the mouth. butter popcorn one, so I'm taking all of those out because there's I'm no gonna, risk reward uh, on that. I'm gonna grab um, I'm gonna grab one of the brown ones. Laura tried and see what I get. Right. Let's see. Oh, the dirty dish water. Oh, maybe that's the oh, one I had. Oh, it. Oh, maybe that's oh, the one oh, that I had. <laughs> the fuck was that? Oh. Oh, oh that's so bad. Oh. What the hell are you trying to do to us? Send me, send me some yeah, Jolly Ranchers or something. Po this is cruel because I love the pomegranate ones. Like oh, that's other... really bad. Oh, my God. So this God. one is supposed to be the strawberry or dead fish. 
Oh my goodness, what is wrong? Why? Why are, why did Jelly Belly do this? Tell us, Laura. I know you're the Harry know, Potter thing. Shit. Harry Potter. I know, I but like, like I, I feel I like, like they've the, extended it a lot. They have. I like, I like the idea. Like it. Yeah, I like yeah. It, it's a it's a fun idea, but when you run into the bad ones, they're bad. Yeah. Okay. You guys have so far three in a row. I got good three in a row. Oh, good three in a row. In a row? Yeah. That must be nice. Oh, yeah, yeah. oh, that's so bad. I can still taste that last that's one. That's definitely oh. booger. Oh. Cr- I'm crushing them. And touch- you said we're skipping the red ones, right? Oh, this you pear. Said? Oh, a pear one. Mm. That's a nice palate cleanser. All right, which ones haven't we tried yet? I have one that's just white. Like, almost just looks like a tooth. It's cum. That's going to be the popcorn. Wait, this is the popcorn one again? No, the popcorn one is yellow with, like, yellow specks on it. The white should be either birthday cake or or dirty. According to Maria. No, dirty dish Coconut. (laughs) Coconut or baby white. My last three have been, or four, have been so bad. It's definitely dishwater. What the fuck is wrong with you? Yeah, these are <laughs> that foul. is so gross. Oh my god, so I haven't only had one good one so far. So bad. I've <laughs> tried now one, two. I tried six. Only one good. These are so bad. <laughs> oh my god, I haven't tried the blue one yet. So much. <laughs> this the toothpaste. The toothpaste. It's not bad. Well, if you get toothpaste or the blue raspberry, that's great. That's I can eat toothpaste. I don't like, like I whatever. said. You gotta crush them and smell them. I'm I'm well, done. That's on toothpaste, nasty. but it's not horrible. I think I've tried every like color so far. Oh, you I know what? I've got I a pomegranate tried? one. It's delightful. I have. Oh, the pomegranate is that one of the red ones? Yeah, red with white one. speckles. Yeah. But you got, got I'm telling you, crush it, smell it. No, do that. I'm cheating. So I, I don't care. Tried... I'm cheating. I'm done. Those are just. I haven't tried green. Green, you said is either booger or what pear? Pear. Juicy pear. I had oh, a pear fuck one. Me, here one. we go. This is number seven, and this thing better be good. Lucky number seven, booger. Oh, a pear. Good. Finally. <laughs> Finally. Mm. All right. I haven't tried the white ones or the brown ones yet. Let me try the red ones. One. So, what is the red options? It's uh, old bandage or pomegranate. Oh fuck me! Which one is the one that's supposed to be super hot? Oh, none. It's oh, a okay. separate package. We're not doing that separate one. Package. Got it. So I've tried every flavor so far, and I hate this. Yeah. All right. So I, I got have a pair. the cappuccino oh, so or bad. flavor and onion one. I got one left. It's a red I one. I have one Here of those go. too. I'm gonna do it with you. Yeah, you guys try that one. I'm gonna ah! try the red one. Oh, you got you got bamboozled, bean boozled. Carlos, Definitely I think did the too. liver and onions. <laughs> my hands are sticky because I spit it out of oh, my hands. Here we oh. go. You said the red one is either what now? <laughs> there are two red ones. There's either dirty I know, bandage I know. or bark. Or no, dirty bandage or... I thought there was like a Carolina oh, hot pepper. That's a separate package. Oh. You know what? That one had a sucked. horrible aftertaste. So bad. That... that was so bad. Oh my god, that tastes yeah, like a band-aid. Yeah, the dirty band-aid like, surprised me. There's it's... one of them in the the Harry Potter oh, one that's like pencil shavings, and I'm like, this is kind of nice. Like it's it's sweet, but also pencil shavings. What is you it? It's really the, one oh. of the Harry Potter ones. It's like pencil the worst, shavings. The worst thing is, I know what that tastes like—the Band-Aid one. I was like, oh my god, why? Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's gross. Yeah. I got I, I tried eight. Only two were good. Oh my god. This is okay, crazy. I feel like I you think have, I have to one expect more. that they were all going to be bad. I mean, it's I like watching Furiosa all so over what's again. What's the white one? <laughs> Birthday uh, cake or dishwater. Uh, oh no, I mean goodness. the popcorn it's popcorn or rotten egg, right? That's what Oh, yeah, I'm not even trying that one. I'm not even bothering with any of these. I hate first of all, I hate jelly beans. Just in general. I love jelly beans. <laughs> but these are just you made it worse. You made everything worse with this experience. This is like, you know, JC going out with Marie. You know, Let's, everything's gotten. Oh, <laughs> which one was it? Oh wow, he's. Oh wow, it must be really bad because he. Oh, well, Laura yeah. tried one too. That's really bad too, though. Like really bad. Ooh. Ooh. So Marie, good thing you didn't get your jelly beans because I is, know I didn't want to do it. And I'm kind of I had the strawberry like, banana. Oh wow, <laughs> he sounds like he's gonna throw up. Yeah, which one was it? They're so bad. They're just so I'll bad. I'll like fluffy cat just for you guys. Hey so jelly, hey, like hey jelly, jelly belly. Hey yeah. jelly belly. I'll see you in Valhalla, you sons of bitches. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> so 
Eggs are awful. <laughs> truly. Yeah, How did they horrible. do this? That was rotten egg. Oh, oh man. I, I had that one. It was disgusting. Oh, my God. I had two out of eight. That's it. Two out of eight. Bullshit. And the I'm sad part is I can't. Them. Well, the sad part is I can't eat the rest of them. Because... Yeah, I know. You, but if you crush them and you smell no, them. I don't want to even do that. I'm telling you, that's the way to get around it. I feel you? like not, oh, 90% of these are disgusting. Or They're maybe so it's because bad. like the outside has been like tainted. I can smell. Oh uh, no! Like the bad part is when you eat so many bad ones. It's, you, you have it all. Like the taste yeah. is just sitting in your mouth. Oh, that's too. Oh good. my god! Come on, uh, give the, me a the bad thing glue. about jelly beans. I want to end on a high run. And the bad thing Ugh. about the jelly beans is they get stuck in your teeth, right? Oh, god. I didn't. Oh my god! I got a berry bad. blue, and I'm calling it on the road. Yeah, that oh, was nope, a good that one. That was a toothpaste. Wrong. But Again, still not bad. But right? not that bad. Yeah. These are going straight nope, in the trash. Those are trash. Fuck, these are disgusting. Those are disgusting. This should be called uh, bamboozle. Bamboozle. Put in there. Or oh, bean boozle, the Mad Max saga. <laughs> really bad. Masochist. I like how the second half of the show, everything just went to shit. Just. But went can to you shit. imagine if your mom ate one of those in front oh. of you and was like, "What?" You'd be like. You got any more? Mm, was it yummy? <laughs> oh, but just exactly. the taste doesn't leave you. It's so bad. It's so bad. Oh. I'm convinced that my mom goes through her life like in a perpetual, oh. just like state of who gives a shit. Yeah. I like this. I call already. I call her the amoeba. Like there is no before, there is no after, there is only the now. <laughs> is <laughs> she? Is she? Uh, how old is your mom? No, uh, she just turned 70 this year. Okay, so she doesn't mind dating younger men. Have her give me a call. <laughs> I would be so entertained if you dated my mom. Truly. I would not be disgusted. I would be like, tell me what your day was like. Give me all the details. What was your reaction? Uh, uh, tell me exactly. everything that you thought everything. about Suzette today. Mm -hmm. Oh, her name is Suzette. Okay. I know. It's such Good a cool name, Suzette. right? You would think her that she would be cool. I used to have a sister-in-law with that name. It's a great name. And then my what brother's like, you don't have a sister-in-law anymore. Oh, Suzette. Suzette. Like Crepe yeah. Suzette. Yes. Yeah. She sucks. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> she sucks. She I had to get some chocolate. I don't know. Is it? But, you know, a lot of Truly. older people suck. So what can I say? I mean, yeah. my dad is cool. Like, I mean, of course he sucks in like, you know, interpersonal ways in the same how way you, that all of us kind of suck but, in certain but ways. How do you view yourself as an old person at the same time? Do you think you're going to suck too? Oh, to other people? It's not that they're old that makes them suck. It's, it's. No, it's uh, them. That's what I'm saying. It's, it's you think interpersonal pers flaws. We all yeah, yeah, have but, interpersonal flaws. Yeah, yeah. Per no, but like <clears throat> my dad sucks because of interpersonal flaws. Like I can be like, oh yeah, that's not so great. I don't like that about you. But I'm like, but I do like A, B, and C. With my mom, I'm just like, what is going on there? <laughs> I don't. I, I feel like the it. same way about my family. Yeah, family yeah. is important. They're involved in my life. But do you think that like your personality will carry into your old age, or will you? I sure will you... hope so. <laughs> adapt to the old fuddy duddy personality you know what i mean i will old have folks. lost my mind and i'll be one of those people on the street yelling at stop signs and throwing stuff and taking off my clothes and then the cops come and arrest me i'm gonna be one oh, of those okay. people i hope That's i will crazy. be one of those people um i i don't know i i i don't think that my oh, values yeah. will change because i mean those are things that are generally pretty deeply ingrained that don't change very much um I hope that I will only grow as a person as I get older and I don't get old and stagnant. That's I can still I taste this trash in my mouth. Holy <laughs> shit. Stagnant trash in your mouth? Yeah, the stagnant old old person. Go get crap some in my accelerator mouth. and clean that shit out of your mouth. Active energy. I know I should because this is so bad. Oh my God. It's like. He's still eating them. The no, he's eating. Helps. He's like he's eating chocolate or something. Oh. He's like cleansing his palate. M and M's and it cleanses my palate. Oh, oh that's, that's gonna help big time. Better, yeah. Yeah. Now well, next time let's do an M and M challenge. Mm, yeah. And just, just send everybody send a pack of peanut colors. M and M's. Well, oh, this mm. oh man, this yellow one tastes like yellow. <laughs> did, you, did you know that? Did you know that Fruit Loops are all the same flavor? Yes. Okay, so I'll make sure. Are they really just different colors? Yeah, they are. 
Yeah, just different colors. They suckered you all these years. Yeah. Yeah. All I right. Have a well, question for yeah. you, actually, yeah. about M and M's and colors. This was on a oh, trivia night. Oh, okay. That I went to a, like a Gen X trivia night. All right. They said, which M M&M and M has rumor of being an aphrodisiac? The green one. Oh, oh it's the green one. It's the green one. Yeah. Everyone at the table knew the question, knew the answer, and I was like, "What? Yeah, the, the green, green one. one. Why? Can anyone chick. tell me why? It's supposed to be a yeah. female. The character is a female." That is, but I looked it up because I was like, what the fuck is going on here? They made the character the female because. After the fact. After the fact. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's like... after the fact. There's nothing to it. Because it was in a There's movie. To it. it was in a movie. Yeah, I think it was what in a movie. movie? What I movie? don't remember, but that's um, yeah, it was in a movie. I think it was in Mad Max Thunderdome. <laughs> <laughs> Mad Max. Uh, I was so completely perplexed by this entire thing that I'm like, that's, uh, I don't know. It's just one of those weird, like, urban myths, I guess, that really doesn't have an origin. Uh, I don't wait, know. Are you guys all Gen X? I am a millennial. Uh, no, I don't I know. Consider I consider my, I, so. I, I um, am transgenerational and I identify as a Gen Xer. I was born in 84, so I am kind of like, that's on millennial. The cusp. Yeah, it's technically millennial, but you know, four years before. I'm an old soul. What can I say? <laughs> I guess the rumor goes back since the 70s. So I don't know where it came from. Nobody knows. Not they were on LSD. They just made yeah. these <laughs> Like, green! Give me a boner! <laughs> <laughs> um, Gen X. Uh, yeah, I would fall under Gen X. Yes, I am a Gen Xer. Yes. That's where I'd fall under. Wait, how old are you? What are you? You're a, I'm a millennial. millennial. So Carlos is a Gen I'm, Xer. I'm just also. a straight millennial. You would be 86. Born in 86. Yeah. Yeah. You're two years younger than me. Yeah. 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 So I like being a millennial. So uh, we got so two Gen most, Xers. Most millennials by a year, right? I know. Yeah. 79. Are you a 79er? Yeah. Yeah. It depends. Different sources say different years start. My husband was born in 1980, and he definitely is like, I'm Gen X, I'm Gen X. Why well, that's supposed to be the cutoff so year. That's the cutoff year. I, I, don't, I, I don't know. I think it's just every generation hates each other. We all sit around. But what? they don't hate. They don't well, hate. Young. Uh, they just, don't hate them. They just hate the later batch of them. That's the thing. I right? think it is. It's the later generation. Because these come in, I think these come in 15 year gaps, right? Yeah. Yeah. If, and then so they hate the 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 last five years of the yeah. of that rate. Like you fucking clowns. Especially you guys don't know shit. Like, after the internet, culture changed so fast too. You know, everything Oh, just, everything went changed. Warp speed. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Everything went warp speed when the internet came around. Like exactly. I grew up without, you know, a computer in the home of like a regular thing. It wasn't until I was like twelve oh, or so. Good that Lord, it these fucking normal. jelly beans. <laughs> <laughs> so it just, yeah, everything goes really fast. The Gen Alphas, man, when they started coming into the workplace. Gen Alpha, like, like the old, young, oldest one would be like 18, right? No, because Gen no, Z. No, what's the other one? Gen Z, I'm sorry. When Gen Z started coming into the workplace, I was just like, oh, fuck. <laughs> yeah, they're adults now. Yeah. That's what, weird. My boyfriend, my not boyfriend, he's a Gen Z and he's an adult. It's like. He's an adult, but we think so differently. We're we have different experiences. But yeah. wait, who's your boyfriend? Doesn't matter. Wait, wait talking about JC. Wait, wait, wait. JC from NSYNC. Well, no shit. It's a different experience. You've lived a whole life. Did you say your <laughs> like, boyfriend that I won't go out with you to a movie? Alcoholism by the time he it's was just born. a reference. I know what she meant. And are you saying JC no, my JC. or JT? J J JC is in Jesus Christ. Exactly. JC Chavez, he says the JC best. JC Chavez. Oh, my uh, a member God. Of, that's why that person should have a job. As a music teacher, that person needs to be fired. Yes. No, JC is the best one. JC's, JC's horrible. The tall one, the really tall one. He's he's a skinny. Uh, what uh, about Lance? Lance, no, horrible. The bass. No. The bass. sounds the bass. The bass? Lance. What? Lance. He's not a bass. Yes, he is. You heard his voice like, whoa, blah, blah, blah. It's yes. like, good oh, Lord, no, no. No. There's a. Can you name all That's five? That's why of he them? never had a solo. That's why he I never like had a fat one. Like I always like a Joey fat Fatone. one. Joey yeah. Fatone, Joseph Fatone, 
We're missing Who one. Who was the though. one with like the weird like brain? That's right. Chris We're missing nuts. one. Chris Kirkpatrick. Oh, Chris yeah. Kirkpatrick. You can get your ass kicked. Uh huh. You what's and Moby. What's wrong with him? Mm-hmm. Yeah. You Wait, what song is yeah. that? You M&M. and that little limb, oh, M&M. what? limb M&M. biscuit bastard. Oh yeah, you and that little limb biscuit bastard. And Obi. You can get Moby. Get is it no? Is something it something no, by Moby? <laughs> what did he say? He said. Uh, he says. Anyway, he was. What's the uh, Fat Boy Slim? Uh, Fatboy Slim, no, not Fatboy Slim. Fatboy Slim who's... and Moby are two different people. No, yeah. I know that. Yeah, but Moby, you can get your ass kicked by. I think he's Moby. Let's, yeah, let's Google Obi. the lyrics. What song is that? It's an Eminem song. Eminem. Eminem. It's um, it's, like... it's it's Marshall Mathers. I think it's called Marshall Mathers. No, it's not. No, it's not. It's, not the, it's the, um, popular. It's no, 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 no. It's off his second I'm album. Back. It's called. It's I'm, I'm back. back. There you go. I'm back. Off of the second album. Yes. That's no, right. wait, well, I don't he, think that's it. Wait, hold he on. This is uh he disses uh insane clown posse, Moby, NSYNC, and Limp Bizkit. Limp Bizkit. My yeah. favorite in sync <laughs> reference is like we talked about last week, Tropic Thunder, when uh Al Pacino oh. ends up with Lance Bass. <laughs> yeah, that's my absolute <laughs> favorite. Lance. Nance. You said Lance? I meant Nance. Nancy. Oh, Nance. Nance. <laughs> Al Pacino loves the pussy. Hollywood, man. We all suck dick sometimes. <laughs> See? You're laughing out your ass, my man. It's a fucking but funny a, movie. But that's such a funny life. We all suck dick sometimes. <laughs> I sent Carlos this funny thing about this guy that kept buying beer at this liquor oh. store. He's an ally. And, yeah, and he, every like he saw the rainbow flag on like his Budweiser. I'm putting this back. Every beer he grabbed, it was from Anheuser Busch, and the guy kept telling him that's also Anheuser Busch. He's like, "Damn it!" So he goes grab Coors, and he was like, "Yeah, they're kind of like for that too." Damn it, and everything. And then he's like, um, I, "What? What do you have that's not? You know, that's not basically like LGBT. Yeah, you can have an IPA. I rather suck dick than drink an IPA." <laughs> Did somebody really say that? And then he said, I guess I'm an ally. Yeah, he said, I guess I'm an ally now. Did you make that up? No, no. This this guy did uh, tell the story on uh, like his uh, TikTok or Instagram. It was hilarious. Oh, okay. That's pretty funny. It was hilarious. Anyway, that's our show, everyone. We got nothing else for you. Um, Still June. Happy Pride Month. Yeah, yeah. As it winds down. That's right. As it winds down. Happy Pride Month. The next month is what? Anybody know what next month is? What's July? It's for cancers. If you're into Wait, it's astrology. for cancers? Yeah, July. for people who are cancers and then Leo. And oh, then... no, that stuff's oh, no, that's talking about astrology. Yeah, that stuff's uh, not real. Though. No, stuff's July real. doesn't have else. like a large awareness month. I don't. Really? So think. July's wide open. Oh. I mean, every month has like a big July thing, but that's not month. a big one. Um, but Asian National Pacific Minority Islander Mental Health Awareness is next. Month. Time out. Creative National ice cream flavor. Wait, National Minority National Month. Oh my said? god. You say National Minority, no. minority so, Mental uh, Health Awareness Month. So so I thought, minority... month. I thought that was May. I just can't no more with this. I think uh. that the American Asian Pacific Islander Month. Oh no, we've is, just passed it. That's passed May. already. Sorry. Yeah. National yeah. Blueberry Month. My favorite part is when everybody gets a month, and all I hear, I hear somebody throw out once in a while, "When do whites get a month?" I'm like, it's "When do what? America? <laughs> when whites do what? get a month. Whites get a month." And I'm like, uh, "Okay, okay." Because every anyway. month is your month. Enjoy. Enjoy. <laughs> I mean, you guys are the one that makes up the months. Just so people would shut up. Well, here, give them a month so they shut up. Like, Wait, what are you? Do you guys have birth? Obviously, you guys have birthdays, but what are your birthdays? No, I know. Like, I have National Hippo Day. I have National Hippo Day, and then I also have National Singles Awareness Day. Okay, oh, that's about right. On. That's about right. Yeah, yeah it's about right. right. It yeah. is. <laughs> it is. Oh, what wow. is? I don't know that's what's a my good one. one. Yeah, let's. Uh, yeah, I got National we'll Hippo Day. Oh, we go. National Day calendar. I use this a lot when I used to run social media channels for finding out like what was the day that we could do. Uh, June twenty second, International Being You Day. I love that. That's your birthday. Yeah. Oh, that's today. <clears throat> oh, happy right. birthday! June twenty second. There's a bunch on mine. Wow. Well, mine's bunch. also National Kissing Day. Yeah. National 
HVAC Tech Day, National Onion Ring Day. I can't oh, believe it. Okay. National Talk of the Clear Day. <clears throat> oh, not, not bad. Okay. Summer Skiving, Saturday after the summer solstice. Mm. There you go. Summer you feast. got a good I'm birthday. Okay too. Yeah, thank you. Mine is. Uh, I love the summer solstice. It's National Selfie Day. So National Lasagna Day. Ooh, that's a good one. Wait, National July 29th. National Chicken Wing Day. So we're also eating on that one. day. Wait, wait, wait. Slats or drummies? Uh, it just says celebrate chicken wings. No, I'm Are talking you, you guys. asking me? Yes. Oh, drum, drums. drums all day. Drums, drums all day. Drums. Flats. Flats. I'm a drummy. Yeah, Three drummy all day. Who likes flats? Uh, flats just taste so much better, though. They like, do. I don't Nas- like the fat on there. National wait. Lipstick Day is the third one. That's why. See? You're going to wear your heels and your lipstick, and you're going to be a girl with us. <laughs> Uh wait wait aren't you a tomboy? So okay, just want to make sure. All right, just want to make sure. All right, well, Carlos, did you tell us your days before we go? National Park Service Founders Day. Not bad. <laughs> bad. Not bad. Yeah. National yeah. Secondhand Wardrobe Day. So far, hey, you that's suck. A good one. Yeah, <laughs> you suck so like bad that. so far. That's two <laughs> shit ones. All that means is homeless people in the park. Give me another one. <laughs> National <laughs> Banana Split Day. Okay. Hey. okay. All, All right. So far. Uh huh. And National Kiss and Make Up Day. That's a good one. Oh, wow. You, you did something Make sure wrong. you carry out your arguments on the 24th because the next day. <laughs> Wait, in July? Yeah. August. 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 All you guys have good birthdays. What hey, about you? It's February. Yeah. yeah, yeah what, what are, are your, your days? days? Oh, I said Hippo Day, National Hippo that's Day, right. and National, and National Singles, Singles Awareness Day. day. Oh, that's Singles right. Awareness. How do you? Singles awareness, about right. exactly. about right. it's yeah, what is Singles Valentine's Awareness? Day. Though, but what what is it like? Awareness of singles. Like, how do I? Because like Valentine's Day is all coupley. No, 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 no. And, like, but whatever. what do I do? Like, like, what do I? Celebrating do I... being single. So celebrating so being lonely and depressed. Not necessarily. That's true. Crying in the but, shower. It's, it's but, a national bipolar day, too. But, Whatever. But we all but, cry in the shower occasionally. Single well, that's why, or not, we have well, all that's, cried in the shower. Well, that's why you cry in the shower. because It's the best place to cry. Know. Nobody knows. Exactly. Yeah. Also, how, how are we supposed to be aware, though, of this? Like, what is the what is the reasoning of the awareness of single people? Because we have to celebrate single people, too. Like, people who are couples, they're, like, looked up to, right? They get tax breaks. They're like, oh, you got married. You're not like they look down on people who are single and they think that we're crazy, which I got news for you. Those tax breaks sound so great. Just I I don't know. I don't know. Is there a singles day parade on that day? We're yeah. Is there a singles day parade? We're single and we're ready to mingle and just walk down the street. Do your thing. It's too cold to do that. Also, July. Yeah. Oh, February. 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 So that's 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 right. It's it's the day after Valentine's. So basically, (laughs) I got you. I see what you guys are doing. Like, look at me. I didn't do it. Me. I didn't do it. I, I just like the. I like, I just like the awareness <laughs> oh, part of it. I like the National Hippo Days after that too. So you, the reason you're single, because you're a hippo. Ah. Wow. Wait, wait. Time out. You say moo or boo? Yeah. Moo. Okay. What are hippos? Because <laughs> I sound like you're saying moo. I'm like, that's a cow. I did say moo. I did say moo. <laughs> Oh my goodness! Because what 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 noise do hippos make? They're like rawr, moo. I don't know. <laughs> yes, yes. I went to the zoo. I was like, "Hey, hippo!" He was like, "Rawr, moo!" And I was like, "Rawr, moo, you too! Rawr, moo, you too!" Congratulations! Here's the shitty box of jelly beans, you piece of shit. Congratulations! And I'm aware that you're single, you fat ass. Anyway, that's what I got. So. That's our show. <laughs> Laura, anything else? Speaking of moos and uh, hippos, 15 and a half pounds down. Congratulations. I'll be sure to send you a box of cupcakes. Please don't. <laughs> if I did, you'd eat them, though. That's the thing. You would. They're going to be soft anyway. flavored cupcakes. Oh, my God. These guys don't know that. Belly. Uh, <laughs> I do. I still got the taste in my mouth that I've been drinking so alcohol. Bad. Yeah, there. it's so bad. Yeah, it's so I need to brush my teeth. Oh my God. <laughs> uh, I'm going to shit dirty socks. <laughs> anyway. Why well, this smell like dead fish one. in the bathroom? Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs>
That's our show, everyone. Thanks for tuning in to this episode of Nerds Talking, the podcast. Before we go, uh, Marie, any new songs you've recorded? Nothing. Okay. Oh, wait, nothing. no, wait, I did, but I did two German songs, but I can't find them. I was going to send them to you, wait, but when out. I find time them, out. I'll time send out. them to you. You sang them in German? Yes, they were German songs. One of them was uh, Beethoven, and the other one was... Um, Beethoven, Beethoven was lyrics? Sing. You sang a Beethoven no song? Lyrics. What did you do? Don't 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 don't. Like what you like what? Anyway, we'll figure that out later. All right. My name is Beethoven. My name is Beethoven. 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 No. That's it. Amadeus. Amadeus. Oh. Amadeus. Amadeus. He did. Yeah. He did. Yeah. You know what? Why not? Why not? There he didn't go. write Amadeus. You stupid. I know he didn't write Amadeus, but he wrote the movie Beethoven, right? About the dog. Anyway, whatever. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in. There's talking to podcast. That's our show for Laura. Goodbye. 15 pounds. So pretty good so far. There you go. 15 and a half. Oh, Sorry. son of a bitch. Look at you. Look at you. Don't shade Do you have it. Have a new diet or like your intermittent fasting or something? Oh, that big bitch. Oh. <laughs> She's cheater. doing You're it. She's, cheater. She's doing You're it. Cheater. No, it's not cheating. It's the modern yes, it way. Is. Congratulations. For Marie. Bye. For Carlos. Bye-bye. And I'm Lafayette. Thanks for tuning in to Nurse Talking to Podcast. We'll catch you next time.